Merry Christmas everyone, this is Matthias and in today's video we'll go through a couple of flanks, kill streaks, and more importantly the decision making that has led to said situations while I've been trying to play the way I normally play, which is trying to PTFO. And I also want to point out that no, I didn't misspell the word atheist, I just spelled it the way you spell atheist in Swedish. Promise. So we're on Hamada, this is Conquest Assault, and right after taking A, we want to go take B, and then later D. Now the problem with capturing B was that, well, there was no problem at all. B didn't have any enemies whatsoever, so I'm just going to fast forward that part of the video. Now lately, I've come to play more and more operations and breakthrough, and there are a couple of different reasons for that. One of them is, of course, that it's a lot easier to finish some of those assignments in operations than in conquest. Then again, there are a bit of conquest in operations as well. So now after taking Bravo, I feel that it's completely too risky to continue with that uh, vehicle there, the half track. Now, going halfway towards D, I discovered this AA. Luckily it has its back towards me, otherwise I would have already been dead. Three dynamites will damage the AA and kill the guy next to it. And then the last rocket will finish the anti-air off. Now I'm having a quick look at the minimap and I realize that I am relatively alone attacking D. There's no way I believe it to capture it by myself, so instead I slow down a little bit, hoping that my squad mates will spawn in on me and that some of the other teammates are going to be able to catch up. I'm able to pick off a few guys here and there, and this guy I would not have known that he was there if it wasn't for the fact that he was shooting. I really have a hard time being able to see enemies in Battlefield 5, at least compared to previous titles. Now up until now I've been a bit sloppy with collecting ammo from dead ammo. players. I've killed a few guys and I could have had a lot more ammo in my inventory. On the other hand, it's also very risky to try to run over every dead corpse on the way, especially the ones you've killed yourself. And my basic line of thought here is that my enemies will of course uh, be in positions where they get cover from where we are coming from, which normally means that they have no cover whatsoever in the other direction where their teammates meaning my enemies will be looking from. Now I think I could have picked up a few more bullets in some situations, Snipe. but right now I'm starting to run really, really low. I'm out. So we're switching to aerodrome. And uh, our team is in a little bit of a disadvantage here. We have only two flags and attacking C and D would be probably too difficult. We've already been trying for a while and it has left us with two flags while the enemies have four. After a bit of a flank, I was able to get to F again and this is something that I've done in quite a number of videos playing Conquest while being on the Allied side. Now on this map I really like to use weapons such as the M1A1 or the Gewehr 1.5, the semi-automatic weapons that are really good at medium range for the assault class. Now in this situation I've chosen the M1A1 because of the flank that has taken me now to F. But now once I'm on the F flag, I would probably prefer to have either the Sturmgewehr, the default one, or the STG-44. So at first, while flipping this flag, I'm making sure that I can't be seen too much from the C, D, or the E flag. This while also, of course, taking cover from the enemy spawn. So the enemies start contesting this flag basically at the same time as I hit one of those AP mines. One of my squad mates has gone down right away, and I'm expecting more players to come from the enemy spawn direction. So I decided to stick on the left side of the map here, not because it is particularly good in terms of positioning, but because it is rather unexpected, hopefully. So now I noticed that one guy is able to get into the center of the flag zone, I throw an incendiary grenade at his direction, but just as I engage him I also get shot from behind, and I get wrecked. No. Now unexpectedly I was actually lucky enough to get revived there by my squad mate and now we have to defend this flag. More people coming from the enemy spawn.
Oh, nice headshot. Heads up, charge is set. PTF always real, guys. So I know that on a stream and sometimes on a YouTube video, it can be a little bit hard to see when you're shooting enemies at really long range, especially when they also have cover. So let me show you these situations a little bit more clearly. Now on the other side of that hilltop you have the enemy spawn. It's quite common that they actually use that position. And how the first shot there could be a body shot, I really don't know, because it seems to me that it's only the head that is actually sticking up. I've also took 52 damage myself while picking that guy off, and I don't peek back again until I at least start healing. This is a little bit too early actually, but luckily it turned out in my favor anyway. So one more guy down in basically the same position as my recent kill. I know that's a very popular place to be, especially with a sniper rifle. And the last kill here while defending F is also on a guy who is in a place that is relatively predictable. Oh, that could be on E. Now we're moving over to Rotterdam and I'm the squad leader. We have enough points for the airstrike or the JB2 rocket. And I gotta admit, there has been many times when I have had a hard time getting the rocket where I actually want it. And if you haven't tried placing it through these doors here into D, then maybe next time. It of course does depend on where your enemies are at the moment, what faction you play and a lot of other things. The one skin, thank you for the 54 bits. Appreciate it, my man. Hope you enjoyed that little JB2. It's just a small one. Now generally, working as a squad and communicating using the vi voice over IP is a good idea. Sometimes uh, the sound quality from some players can be a little bit so-so. Squad leader, can you put Alpha to Cap Alpha, please? Put Alpha to Cap Alpha, thank you. Now, I really don't know why, but for some reason, that just sounds more and more funny the more I have to listen to it, which is quite a bit when you're editing a video such as this. Anyway, the video will continue here with a similar situation, but without my post commenting. I hope you will enjoy it, and again, I hope you all will have a very Merry Christmas, and hope to see you all soon. Oh, there he was. Oh. Uh -huh. Ja, 
Ah, I couldn't get you there, sorry. No, uh, no problem. I will draw your path from Foxtrot to Alpha. Uh, to yeah. Bravo, sorry. Alright. I'm in a perfect place to be revived here. Thanks. I'm here. My savior. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? He's sound. Oh, fuck. What was it? What? what, what? I was shot by a small tank. I'll just gamble. I'll just gamble. Great, thank you. Right on the flag, on the flag, on the flag. Shepherd. Thank you. Oh, these guys. What? One of the right. Uh, we have to get away from here. Yep, there's one on the cha by house. B house. Tank also over here. Yeah. I have nothing for the tank. Yeah, I have, but. Serious, how is it still alive? I almost got that tank. Oh. What the tank is almost full HP. What the fuck? Yeah. Of diesel coordinaten. Luftschlag on diesel coordinaten. Alright, I got that f***ing tank though. Oh, there's another tank over here. Tank on my body. I have a garden. 